Welcome, class of 2025 to Fulton High School. My name is Isaiah Duran and I'm the ASB president. We're excited to give you an insight of what it's like to be a Yellow Jacket here at CHS. I hope you enjoy, thank you. Colton High School class of 2025. My name is Mrs. Murphy and I'm your principal and I want to give you a very brief tour of Colton High School. We can't wait to have you come onto campus with us. I want you to come on in through the front gate. Uh, we're going to take you on into the office and we're going to show you some different key places on campus. While we go and while we walk into the office, I want to remind you of some important things that you need to do in order to be successful at Colton High School. Most importantly, you need to be on time to all of your classes, and you also need to make sure that you are prepared and make sure that you've got all of your assignments done and you're ready to go for your classes. Make sure you're bringing all of your materials. It's also really important at Colton High School for you to get involved in our different activities. We have a ton of clubs on campus, we have sports, we have bands, we have plays, and there's nothing that gives me greater joy than to watch our students perform both on the field and in our concerts and programs. I want to take you on into the assistant principal's office. This is a place where you're going to come if you need some help, if you have any questions. We're always here to help you. Here is one of our lovely office staff people. This is Mrs. Anderson. Hello. She, she can't wait to have you come and to see us. This is a place where you're going to come, we're going to give you help, we're going to give you any information you need. This is also a place where you can come to if you get in trouble. So please make sure that you remember the three, thing, three key things at Colton High School. Be respectful, be responsible, and act with integrity so you don't end up here in the office in trouble. I want to take you on over to the counseling office. Over here in the counseling office, we have Mrs. Lopez. She is going to be here to, to help you because we want to make sure that when you leave Colton High School, you have a ton of choices. You can go to college, you can get a job, but we want to make sure that you're leaving here prepared for the for choices that you want to make. Down here, we have our counseling office. We have our counselors who are going to be here to help you, assist you, and go over any questions. We can't wait to have you come and see us, class of 2025. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Marcos Mesa and my background is in automotive technology. I teach General Service Tech 1, General Service Tech 2, and the Advances course here at Colton High School. If you are a person who doesn't mind uh, working hard and getting your hands dirty, I believe that this class here would be a good fit for you. Our students have lots of fun. Uh, they get to work on their own vehicles and vehicles that other students bring in and sometimes even staff members. Uh, we focus on engine performance, uh, transmissions, steering and suspension, brakes, air conditioning, and electrical. So why not start a career here while you are in high school and earn college credits? It's a requirement that you attend a auto shop class for two years to meet the articulation requirement, which means that we are articulated with a college. So uh, if you would like to be in a fun class and learn a lifelong career, then I believe that this is going to be a class for you. So talk to your counselor and hope to see you soon. Bye now.
Welcome incoming freshmen from Joe Baca and Colton Middle. My name is Ms. Via and I'm from the Wellness Center. The Wellness Center is a place where you can reach out when you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed or stressed out to the point where you can't even focus in class anymore. Together, we'll learn new ways to cope with our feelings and emotions. That way, you can return back to class feeling calmer and better prepared in case those feelings were to surface again. Throughout the year, we also offer connection groups where students can build community with other students that are going through similar experiences. And just to let you know that you're not alone in what you're going through. Um, we also have some really fun activities throughout the year where we get to practice some self-care by maybe uh, making stress balls, slime, practicing meditation, different arts and crafts and activities just to uh, practice better self-care and keep us inspired and motivated throughout the year. If you would like some more information about our center, feel free to follow us on social media or on Instagram at Yellow Jackets Wellness Center. I look forward to seeing you guys all next year, and I'm so excited to meet you. Bye. All right, class of 2025, we want to show you the auditorium. Come on in with us. Uh, here's a lot of lobby of the auditorium. We hold freshman follow-ups in here. Uh, we have plays in here. We're hoping you get involved with the different plays. I want you to come on down into the auditorium and take a look at Colton High School history. Now, for those of you who, who know alumni of Colton High School, you may have heard about the ghost in the auditorium. I have never once seen the ghost. Hello, future Yellow Jackets class of 2025. My name is Jocelyn Jason, and we are here to inform you about a few different clubs that Colton High School has to offer. We wish that you find something that interests you or something that catches your eye. Don't worry if nothing in these next few slides catches your eye. We do have a ton more clubs that we do offer. We hope that this video was informational about the clubs and a little bit about what they have to offer and who they are ran by. Keep in mind, these clubs specifically are offered for online school and in-person school. Here is to list a few. Join the National Honor Society with Ms. Clark and Ms. Levine. Meetings are to be determined, but please contact their email addresses. Join the Marine Biology Club with Ms. Palatier. Meetings are held during lunch via Google Meets and use the class code to get any following updates. Are you interested in the medical field, criminal justice, debating, and writing? Well, mock trial might be the thing for you. Your advisors are Coach Label and Coach Arana, and they meet every Tuesday and Thursday from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. If you're interested and want to learn more, please email Lucy underscore Leva at cjusd.net for more information. If you need peace and comfort at school, join the Colton High Wellness Club. They have a remind set up and often have meetups after school via Google Meets. For more information, you can text them on their Instagram and Twitter at CHS underscore Wellness Club and CHS Wellness Club. Class of 2025, we hope this video encourages you to find a club that suits you. These clubs are specifically offered online and in person. Keep in mind, you are not limited to just one club, so make the best of it. Have a great day, Yellow Jackets. We'll see you soon. And here is our new cafetorium that is coming in just for you, class of 2025. I'm hoping when you step foot on campus, all of this is gonna have the tables up. You'll have a nice shaded area where you can eat your lunch. And look inside, look at that brand new construction just for you. We can't wait for you to see it, class of 2025. Hello, my name is Megan Kelly. I am a board certified athletic trainer and I've actually been working as an athletic trainer for about four years now. Um, I teach two classes at Colton High School. One of them is uh, medical service occupations, which is more of a kind of a general class learning about the medical field and what uh, roles and responsibilities and knowledge that uh, somebody in that field has to know. And uh, my second class is sports medicine. Um, that's more of an advanced uh, senior level course, uh, which focuses more on sports medicine as a field in medicine. So really, really cool information. If you plan on becoming an athletic trainer like me or a physical therapist, um, a orthopedic surgeon, um, anything in health and human performance. Um, I am a member of the HEAL pathway. So my two classes are parts of the HEAL pathway. Um, and really, it's um, my senior class is the only class that's articulated. Um, my sophomore class, which is the medical service occupations classes, is not articulated. My senior level class is articulated, however. Um, so you do get college credit if you get a B or better in my course. 
Um, my seniors also do a really cool thing where they do take internships with me. Um, unfortunately, not this year due to COVID, but um, normally they would do job shadowing with me just to see kind of what a normal day looks like for like someone like me, an athletic trainer, uh, you know, working with patients and evaluating injuries and seeing, you know, things very firsthand. Um, you know, really, really cool experience uh, for my seniors. And they do get it as part of a grade as well. A um, couple cool projects. Uh, my seniors do a lot of taping. Um, they learn how to tape, you know, ankles, wrists, elbows. They learn how to wrap a shoulder. Um, for my medical service occupations classes, you, you learn how to do um, CPR, use an AED, um, take vital signs, etc. So very, very, um, you know, important skills for the medical career. Uh, that you will kind of take away with you and, um, you know, learn again in college and be using very frequently in whatever setting that you choose to go into. Um, that's basically all the information I have. Um, please feel free to register for my class. Talk to your counselor about, uh, about my classes if you're very interested. Thank you so much for listening. Welcome to our new library that we just had modernized about a year and a half ago. This is a great place to come at lunchtime, uh, to get on the computers, get on the Chromebooks, get a good book, uh, just hang out and socialize with your friends. I can't wait for you to enjoy our new modernized library. Gotta get back to my book. Hello class of 2025. My name is Isaiah Duran and I'm the ASB president. I would like to welcome you to Colton High School. Here at CHS, we find it very important to be responsible, respectful, and act with integrity. Although we take these things very seriously, it's crucial that we find time to enjoy ourselves. Here are some examples of how we do that. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mr. Vidal. I am the Welding Pathway Lead Teacher and an English teacher at Colton High School. I'm going to talk to you about the Welding Pathway and what it offers to students at CHS. First of all, you might be asking yourself, gee, what is welding? I don't even know where it is in everyday life. Well, look at these examples here that I have for you. You use welding in ships, like those gentlemen working on a ship. You can even use it to weld a bicycle frame. You can use welding to weld pipes together or to weld them apart. You can even use welding in the automotive industry or in construction, as you see to the left. So our goal for, welding, for the welding pathway, our vision, so to speak, is to prepare students of all stripes and all types to become critical thinkers and problem solvers. You will have the hands-on technical and personal skills to become marketable candidates for college and for employment. That is our goal. Wow, there's fireworks because that's an amazing goal. So how will you achieve this vision? Very, very good question. Well, as a welding pathway, we offer 11th graders the chance to take the limited thickness test, which will get certification into a welding career. Seniors take the D11 unlimited thickness test, which is another certification, and all students become OSHA certified so they know proper safety measures when in the welding lab. 
other more personal measurements that prepare more for college and for the workplace as well are things like making sure that all of our students achieve a high school diploma. We want every student that enters our pathway to graduate. That is really the biggest, most important thing you can do while you're in high school is to make sure you graduate. No matter what you do, make sure you get a high school diploma. We also want all of our students to become uh, A to G ready and to meet the A to G requirements. Students will complete uh, professional development lessons provided by Skills USA. Students complete a working resume as well as a portfolio, which is not listed here, but we will also help you engage in portfolio work. And seniors will apply to either a two-year, four-year, technical college, or a welding career. Excuse me. What job opportunities are there though, Mr. Vidal? Well, there are employers everywhere are looking for entry level welders. An entry level welder, notice how much they can make? $41,000 a year. That's enough to rent a small apartment and pay your bills and even pay for a car. Uh, and that's without a college degree. So just imagine that. Okay, when I was 19, I was only making $7 an hour, $7.50, maybe $8 if I was lucky. Of course, that was a long time ago. But not so with welding. You can make a good living. Did you know that there are approximately 239,000 job positions for welders waiting to be filled? It is projected that there will be 378,000 unfilled welding positions by 2022. Can you imagine that? So we talk about a skills gap. Perhaps you've heard this, a skills gap. What is a skills gap? Well, the dearth or lack of welders is why everyone in manufacturing, construction, and maintenance are talking about a skills gap. There's not a, simply more positions uh, are available than can actually be filled. So that means that more and more people are gonna need to be trained in welding and pretty much, they, as long as they are qualified and certified, they should be able to get the job really easily. The welding program seeks to help those uh, to close that gap with by, provi by providing welding skills, measuring uh, and layout skills, and shop math. So there will be a lot of math involved, but not too much. Miss Kennedy and Miss uh, Martinez are great math teachers. You will also learn print reading skills. You will learn employment acquisition and retention skills, so-called soft skills, the kind of skills that you need to really land any job, and communication skills. You will be working often in teams, so you need that good communication and to make sure that your team understands uh, what it is that you will be welding and all of the proper requirements. So you also need to work on your communication skills if you're going to be part of our pathway. Ninth grade welding students are expected to identify job expectations for the industry, develop general problem solving skills, working in small groups on a regular basis, develop technical vocabulary, explore welding careers and opportunities, and be able to execute welds into the flat and horizontal position in the welding lab. Projects include career research projects where students will work in a group to identify uh, a certain welding career, gather evidence about that career, and create graphs using linear equations to, so to show salaries for the profession. 10th grade students are expected to work in small and large groups explore multiple ways of solving a problem, increase their use of technical vocabulary, complete lab projects in all course curriculum, understand and read blueprints, and lay out and cut proficiently using thermal something something. I can't see all of my screen right now. Uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students have the opportunity to have the opportunity to enter into the welding skills sculptures competition. It requires a one-page resume, interview skills, a verification letter, reflection, and a commentary. Basically, it's a, an entire notebook in addition to the welding sculpture that you do. 
as you notice, one of our students has uh, designed many things in the past. These are some of the welding sculptures that have been entered before. And here was one that uh, one of our students, Bernardo Cruz, entered into the uh, Skills USA competition, and he won the regional competition and went on to uh, compete in the state competition uh, in 2019. 11th grade students are expected to continue those skills that they've already learned and to continue to work in group settings, critique the effectiveness of problem solving strategies, continue to use technical vocabulary in an effective manner, create a layout and design, write instructions for design execution, and weld single slash multiple pass fillet and group welds in all positions. You will learn all of these, of course, in the welding uh, pathway. 12th grade welding students are expected to implement and practice job expectations. They will ex also be expected to delegate and or perform tasks in a collaborative setting. Have fluency with failure analysis and methods of implementing corrective action and be able to conduct oneself professionally and ethically while on the job. By the end of the 12th grade, they will hopefully have attained certification for entry-level welders, according to the AWS D11 Structural Steel Code. We know that all of you can be successful, so please join us on the Welding Pathway. We are open to students of all stripes, ages, uh, races, ethnicities. We, want we, we are a variety of students. It's not just boys. We have a good number of girls in our welding pathway too. So both boys and girls are encouraged to apply. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Hello, my name is Joseph Duran. I am a junior here at Colton High School and the ASB treasurer. Some of the classes that I take include ASB, Physics, History, Honors Algebra 2, English, and AVID. Some obstacles that I had to overcome to succeed this year was to find a peaceful environment, to think clearly, and to get my work done. Also, I had to manage my time so I could not only find time to complete my work, but to engage in personal hobbies. Hello, my name is Juan Barone, and I'm a freshman here at CHS. Some of the classes that I'm taking right now are ASB, AVID, PE, and the honors courses. In order to overcome the challenges posed by this year, I was able to get a positive workspace and work through it with a positive mindset. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. I'm a senior here at Colton High School, and the classes I've been taking this year are English, Econ, Reading and Writing, ASB, Medical Front Office, and Spanish. I've been able to overcome this year by waking up early and going to all my classes and by doing my best not to procrastinate on my assignments. Bye! Hello, Yellow Jackets of Class of 2025. This year is the girls' locker room where you are going to spend two years of PE. You're also going to be using this when you change for sports. I love the girls' locker room. Cleanest place, I always say you can eat off the floor here. And very important to keep in your locker at all times is deodorant. Deodorant is essential for success in high school, just as well as being respectful, responsible, and acting with integrity. and my group will be giving you an inside look on what leadership is at CHS. My name is Crystal Castro and I will be discussing what leadership is. Leadership is the action of leading a group of people or an organization. It is also the state or position of being a leader. Leadership likes to help out however they can, especially with these big events such as homecoming, prom, pep rallies, football games, prom fashion show, synergy, leadership just does all the major activities and assemblies that there are at Colton High School. And we just help plan all these activities to make Colton just a little bit more fun. It impacts CHS by allowing students from each grade to be involved with school. It doesn't matter if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, being involved allows you to be a part of everything from dances, sports, and activities. Overall, leadership allows many students to be involved during and out of school. 
overall leadership helps you with college and it also helps you with standing out as an individual on campus. I hope to see you guys soon and have a good day. Class of 2025, this is so exciting because I have not been over here to see this area. This is the new JV baseball field. Look at this because I expect for you kids to get involved in sports so that you are one with Colton High School and you're a proud yellow jacket. I can't wait to see you playing out here. Coming freshman, I'm Catalina Guillen and I'm here to help you guys in the right direction for your first year of high school. There are so many curricular activities that can help you get involved. The three main ones that we have on campus for our leadership program are ASB, Link Crew, and Renaissance. Each program is very different in their own way. For example, ASB is all about school spirit, rallies, homecoming, prom, and so many more. Link Crew is about you, freshmen, and making sure you guys are on the right track. We will do freshman activities such as freshman follow-ups, freshman luau, and so many more. And lastly, Renaissance. Renaissance is all about your academic award ceremonies so that the incoming freshmen, don't be scared. Get involved and I hope you guys enjoy your high school years. You won't regret it. Hello, my name is Thomas Wurz. I teach graphic communications at Colton High School. As I start my 26th year of teaching, I reflect on how I got started in the graphic communications industry. I started graphic communications in high school after I would marvel at the cool projects my big brother would bring home from his print shop class. In my sophomore year, I signed up for the print shop and quickly found it to be a fun and exciting class. To further my knowledge, I took an ROP printing class through the La Pointe Valley ROP and was quickly hired by the local school district to print forms and booklets for the district. I went on to work in various print shops, working in each department to gain knowledge about this exciting industry. Finally, I decided I wanted to teach my craft to others. CryRop had an opening and here I am today. In my graphic communications class, I teach basic graphic design and the processes to manufacture that design into a finished product. Some of the projects include personal posters, notepads, personal calendars, and business cards. Some students will work on the layout and design of yearbooks for some of our local elementary schools. Others will work in our high school print shop where they will print manufactured products for schools and teachers. We are articulated with the Riverside City College. Students who take my class for a full year and receive a B or better will get three units toward a certificate or degree. While some areas of graphic communication industry struggle, others are growing at an enormous rate. Wide format printing, posters and banners, digital printing, and the manufacture of specialty items are some of the items that are increasing in demand. EPAC, a company that we have a relationship with, just ordered 20 digital presses in order to keep up with their demand. You all know Shutterfly, they just ordered 60 digital presses. We partnered with the Colton District Print Shop for Community Classroom, but the COVID put us on hold. I hope to bring that back when we are able. and I am currently a sophomore at Colton High School. Two things I'm involved in on campus would be the AVID program and I'm also an A-team leader for Link Group. I'm so excited to have you guys at CHS and I hope your freshman year is an amazing one. Hi, my name is Giselle Loud. I'm a junior at Colton High School and I've been in Link Group for two years and throughout high school I've been involved in the hospitality pathway and softball. Hi, my name is Karen Lopez. I am a senior at Colton High School and I've been an AVID for six years. Uh, you should join AVID because AVID is a really great program. It honestly helps you keep organized in all your classes and it also prepares you for college, which is something we basically all need if you plan on attending a four-year university or a community college. It's helpful in either way. Um, 
we have our avid coordinator who is Ms. Contreras who has been helpful for mostly all avid students. Um, she is our senior teacher as well and freshman year is probably the best year to join avid mostly because it is the easiest year and it's going to help prepare you for your sophomore and junior year which is something that most of you are going to need because I sure needed it. Um, and my favorite year in AVID would probably be junior year because you're able to go on the road trip. And um, it was just a really great time. We went up in NorCal to San Francisco, Merced, Santa Barbara, Fresno. Um, we came back to Los Angeles. Uh, it was just a really great time. And honestly, AVID is gonna be there for you senior year. Not all students have these type of resources that you're going to have if you join AVID. Um, whether it's helping you apply to colleges or helping you apply for financial aid, AVID is there and honestly, you just have to join to be part of it. Um, and yeah, have a nice day. Hi, my name is Mr. Heron. I teach the STEAM 1 and STEAM 2 classes here at Colton High School. Um, I retired after 40 years in the um, engineering and in construction trades. I was um, in the engineering department at the University of Southern California where I retired a couple years ago and I now teach here at the high school. Um, the STEAM 1 class articulates to Riverside Community College. If you get a B or better, as Introduction to Engineering, and my STEAM 2 class articulates to Riverside Community College as Engineering Design, if you get a B or better. Um, I've been in the industry for quite a while. So um, we had some internships that we were trying to line up this year. One of them was with a architect in uh, the local area and a couple others, but those aren't available this year because of COVID. Um, some of the projects that we did last year is uh, we built some bridges, we built some rockets, we did some 3D printing, some laser etching. The students learn basic CAD skills. They use, learn how to use 3D printers. Um, they learn how, we also did some electronics projects where the students learn how to solder electronics um, and the basic concepts behind the electronics. Um, this year, the STEAM 2 class was supposed to build um, some hovercraft and um, build some rockets that were going to um, have an egg in the nose cone, and they needed to shoot those rockets off without um, breaking the egg. Um, of course, that's all kind of changed this year. Um, but like I said, the students learn basic CAD skills, 3D printing skills, um, soldering, and some electronic skills, and they learn the engineering um, design concept of how to work through engineering projects, solve problems, and um, work in groups. Hi, welcome to HEAL. If you've ever considered a career in the medical field, this is the correct pathway for you. HEAL stands for Health Education Academy of Learning. Our staff includes English, science, medical. We have our administrator, our counselor, our PE teacher, and one of our history teachers in the senior year. Some of the medical courses you might experience are medical services, where you learn about medical careers, medical terminology, and medical front office. In your senior year, you can choose between sports medicine and health information technology. We also offer some medical training. Some of our students have taken Stop the Bleed training, CPR certification, 
and we've had many guest speakers. We also provide community service opportunities that are related to the medical field. You can see our blood drive pictured here, the STEAM Expo, the Career Fair, and these are wonderful ways to build your resume. We also offer our seniors mock interviews, and this is where you can practice your interview skills with a person from the community. And we also offer field trips. We, in this picture here, we are at the Museum of Tolerance, and then you might recognize Arrowhead Regional Medical Center. And then you might also recognize Colton Middle School, where we were able to show some students how to do CPR hands only. Our students also receive swag every year of their, their time in the pathway. Our ninth graders receive the t-shirt, our 10th graders a polo, our 11th graders a dress shirt, and our 12th graders scrubs. If you are interested in joining the heel pathway. Class of 2025, here's the boys locker room. I'd like to take you in, but as you can tell, I'm a girl and I am not allowed in. So remember, no girls in the boys locker room. We're heading on over to the stadium now. Hey, Yellow Jackets. I want you to be able to see where your new home is going to be on Friday nights uh, when you're gonna be up there in the student stands and you're gonna be cheering on your classmates. It is great to be in here on a Friday night and to hear people having fun and cheering with that Colton pride. Hello incoming freshmen, aka class of 2025. My name is Ariana Rosa and at Colton High School we have many clubs and sports you can join. So here are some pictures and videos of the clubs and sports you can join. I hope you enjoy. many a touchdown. What? Okay, don't do Thank that. Thank you, Class of 2025, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We cannot wait for you to join us and become a Yellow Jacket here at CHS.